What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones, MCJ here, back with another video on Power Apps. So today we're going to be looking at some brand new in public preview features called custom pages to make converged apps. Custom pages were announced quite a while ago and the team have been busy working on this new experience that will bring model driven and canvas closer together. So what is a custom page? Custom pages are the ability to embed a canvas app into your model driven app. Now, when I say embed, I don't mean embed it into a form. I mean, you have your own navigational pane on the left on the sitemap, and you can navigate to a full canvas app inside of there. What's more is you can use these canvas apps in different ways. You can actually have them pop up on screen as a dialogue. You can have them pop in as a side panel. You can do so much with these canvas apps and these converged apps and custom pages that means that we're really bringing model driven and canvas apps closer together. So let's take a look at it. So I'm here in a solution and I've got my model driven app here and we're going to click on the three dots and then we'll go to edit in preview mode. So if you aren't familiar, there is a new preview editor for model driven apps. This editor allows you to see things in real time, see the layout, see the buttons, um, you know, change things around and remove forms and views and things like that. It's a really handy editor. It looks like this and you can kind of see it's going a lot more canvas app with the style with the sort of tree view on the left. And in the middle, we can see a real time, um, a real time view of our data and of our app, which is really great. So I'm click on things like contacts, for instance, and it'll load me up all my contacts in here. And it's through this new editor where we can add the new custom pages. So if you don't have access to the preview editor at the moment, it is a public preview. They are rolling out over time, um, but just be patient and it'll come to you eventually. But if you do have the editor and you do want to jump in and take a look at these, we need to go to the app and then we can add a page. We can add a page here or up here. So if we click on add page here, we can see we have three options. We have table based view of form, we have dashboard or we have custom preview. So this is the custom page preview and we can see it says design and build a page you want by dragging interactive components into the canvas. So we'll click on next. And then we get the option to either create a new custom page or use an existing custom page. I already have one custom page there called custom page one, not very greatly named. We'll do uh, MCJ canvas app. Uh, and we'll add this on. You'll notice that it will automatically show in the navigation. We can come back here later and remove it if we want to. So we'll um, give it a name and we'll click on add. Okay, so once this has loaded up, you'll notice we're inside the um, Canvas App Studio. It's a slightly modified studio. It looks a lot more like the Canvas App Studio that you would find in Dataverse Teams, where you have the inserts and everything along the left and not really along the top with the different tabs. But then from here, it's just a Canvas app. So we can do anything. We can drop labels on here. So we can drop a label onto here and say, and say, change the text of it, for instance, up here or in the boxes or anywhere else, uh, MCJ uh, custom page. And we can, you know, do everything like change the font size to 25. We can change the font weight to be bold, for instance. We can make this bigger, we can center it uh, that way, and we can align it and we can put it everywhere. And we have the same things in terms of like functions and stuff like that. So we can um, specify the height and specify the width and the X, Y and, you know, do on selects and change the color and everything else. Um, we can also do things like drop in uh, galleries. We can drop in text boxes to allow people to like type in text, for instance. Uh, and just say, uh, please enter your name. Oops, missed a thing there. Uh, into that, and we can put that underneath, and then we can drop a button on here as well, and the button can submit. So we'll make this a bit bigger, 
uh, and we'll say text. Again, I'm just doing this in different places. You can do it in the formula bar at the top. You can do it on the other text bar on the right. So we'll put uh, submit in there. Um, and that's that's all we need. So we can just do all these things and this submit button's not going to do anything and everything else is not going to do anything. Um, but this, this gives us a canvas app that we can play around with. Now, not all of the controls are available in here and not all the functions are available in here. There are going to be some limitations during this preview and probably when it goes into GA, but this is a great step forward in terms of what we can do with Canvas apps and what we can do with custom pages. So let's take a look and see how this works and see how this looks. So if I hit save um, in the top right hand corner, first thing it's going to ask me to do is save, uh, save a name for it. So I hit save. Um, now this will be inside my solution so I will still so I will be um, transportable in terms of ALM so I can move a custom page from one environment to another we can see yep it page is successfully saved that's great uh, and what I can do is I can hit publish in the top and I'll publish this version and that's all good and now I can go back to my site editor so you'll notice here uh, it's saying can't find it there's an, there's an issue uh, it's just because it's defaulted to that. It should hopefully load up, or it may not do. We'll find out. We just know it anyway. Yeah, it might not work. Uh, but what we'll do here is we'll save and we'll publish this. We'll publish. And then what we'll do is we'll play our new custom page. So publish is done. We'll hit play and we'll take a look at how this custom page looks. So it hasn't, uh, hasn't loaded up my new custom page just yet. So we'll do a quick refresh of the browser. There we go, when everything loads back up, we can see in the sitemap, we have a new item down here, a new navigational link, MCJ Canvas app. If I click on it, it will load up my new custom page. So you can see we've got my MCJ custom page, my title here, I've got my box where I can enter some text. Matt Collins Jones. And I have a button that does absolutely nothing because we didn't hook it up to anything. But this unlocks so many possibilities. Not only can we have custom pages embedded into model-driven apps now, so we can have these richer Canvas app experiences, but we can create functionality off the back of this. Previously, we were kind of limited in terms of what data we could show inside Dataverse. Usually it's inside modern apps, it's usually just all Dataverse. But we could take data from SharePoint or get data from an SQL database or get data from online somewhere. And we can use that data together in this custom page format. And we can add data from multiple sources. We can add it from tables inside Dataverse. We can add it from everywhere else. And we can put it all into a single page and have people interact with that data and update in multiple ways in multiple places all at the same time. So that's really, really cool and really, really powerful. So this is just dropped into public preview today. It will be rolling out across other regions as we go through the week and in, in the coming weeks. So you may be able to find this in one of your test environments and you can start having to play around with it and start getting used to it. But uh, that's, that's kind of it. That's the intro to a custom page. Um, what do you guys think of custom pages and converged apps? Is this something that you'll be using in the future? Is it something you've been really looking forward to like I have? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you like this video. If you could like and share it with your friends, that'd be much appreciated. If you've not already, click the subscribe button and stay up to date with all my latest videos. And I'll see you next time.